It is like super flaky on the outside. That is nuts. I love the texture already. And you're gonna grab some butter. Yes, we'll take some. I can't even wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Amritsar in Punjab. This is North India, just a few miles away from the Pakistani border, home to the great Sikh Golden Temple and tons of world-class food, including street food that can be found almost anywhere. This man has a restaurant on his bike. Today we're gonna focus on a classic of Amritsar, chole in all its glorious forms, a locally renowned spiced chickpea curry that grabs your taste buds and never lets go. Why does Amritsar love chole so much? Amritsar is best known for its spices. You know, they make it from their hand, directly from field to the kitchen. In this town, chickpeas are in fashion. And who better to show me the wild world of chole than fashion blogger Diksha? So he puts on some more butter? It's ghee. Guys, calm down, it's, it's ghee. We'll meet a chef putting his life on the line for our taste buds. Oh, he puts it in my hand? Yes. This guy is insane. I'll be introduced to some never before seen ingredients. What kind of pickle is that? It looks like a little chicken egg. And even iconic street food that dates back to the Hindustan era, when Pakistan and India were one. Oh, we are going to have bhigawa kulcha. The recipe is before the partition of India and Pakistan. Today, we're going on a food tour so epic, even paparazzi can't help to get a peek of the action. Let's chole. Location one is bringing the heat. Perfect for cooking the best bread I've ever laid lips on in India. But first, fashion. As a person of fashion, what do you think about my headband? It's looking good, it's different. Is it something that you would try? Yeah, I would love to. Okay, I didn't expect any of that. Aside from fashion, today we are getting into food, especially chole. Chole is a chickpea curry, right? Yeah. This dish is famous all over the city. Why does Amritsar love chole so much? Because chole are full of spice. Will I be able to handle it, Mr. White Bread here? Yes. It's not just about the chole. You need a multitude of breads to eat it with. It's called kulcha. Kulcha. It's made of white flour. They serve best kulcha, I think. Very tasty, buttery. Basically, after this location, you can stop watching because we went to the best one first. All right, let's go. Here, the bread making operation is underway. This is the white flour dough, the matter. Then they'll do the stuffing there. The stuffing is of potatoes, onions, and spices. Oh, so this is stuffed. It's not yeah. just bread. This is called kulcha. Bread stuffed with boiled potatoes, onion, grated cauliflower, coriander leaves, and green chilies. Once stuffed and flung over to the cooking station, this insane man risks his extremities in order to roast it up in a fiery hot tandoor oven. This is the tandoor where they are cooked. And inside, there is a ton of bread. It is insanely hot. Oh, he puts it in my hand? Yes. This man has no hair on his arm. It is so hot, it's all been burned. I think you should try sticking one of the breads in there. Do you think you can do it? You don't want to burn the hair off your arms? Okay. I'm gonna try it, guys. Bam, 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 bam. Yes? Be careful. Be careful. Oh, shit. You did it? I you got did it. it. All right, it's pretty good. Good? It's good. <laughs> Once the bread is cooked, it is slathered in butter. But our meal is still missing the main course. We've got our kulcha, and here is the chole. Chole is made with chickpeas, and then it's all about the spices, including green chilies, chana masala, red chili powder, garam masala, and dry mango powder. Mango is dried, and then it's uh, left under sun for some time. Then they just make a spice out of it. That sounds good to me. Let's try it out. We've got our chole, we've got our chutney, and we need to assemble it. Oh, we put it inside? Yes, this is how we eat it. They put a busload of butter on here. I will be really amazed if you can keep your white shirt white the whole day. Do you think you can? Yes, I can. Okay, let's eat. So we're mixing our chutney with the chole. We have to make a little vessel from our bread, pour in the chole. We have to eat this three more times today. Can you do it? All right, cheers. Mmm. That is unlike any chole I've ever had. Buttery, rich, toasty, flaky bread, and then the masala. It's just kind of gentle. Really good spice. Mmm. <laughs> it is so perfect. This is one of those meals that makes you forget that you're eating vegetarian food. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Good choice. 
next place is like a short order fast food joint. And these guys are fast. And you gotta be fast too if you're hoping to get served. This place is really competitive. You gotta be quick. If you do manage to make it to the front of the counter, you'll witness pure magic. Do you know what is so special about the chole here? It's all about spicy. So very good chole, good masala. What kind of bread are we getting? We are going to eat mati. What is that? It's something crunchy mm -hmm. and it's fried. So they're making it right down here. He puts it together in about two seconds. Is the crunchy one on the bottom? Yes. This is called patti and these are the chane. What is chane? Chole and chane are the one and same thing. Oh, same thing. So they put this cracker on the bottom and then they put on some chane, a little onion, some chilies, and don't forget the chutney. Sir, thank you. Let's go eat. So we've got our dish right here. I noticed they gave me two chilies, but why don't you have any chilies? I don't like chilies. You don't like spicy food? Oh. Very spicy, I got it. Okay, this is a pickle? Yes. What kind of pickle is that? It this looks like a little it's, chicken egg. It's called amla. What vegetable is it? Amla. It's called amla? Yeah. Great, and here's a Google image of that. Oh, it's very fragrant, very pickly. What kind of crazy vegetable is this? <laughs> Here again, Google Images. So if you didn't see it the first time, that's what we're eating right now. But the pickled version. Mmm. Super savory, super heavy. So we're gonna break that crispy shell on the bottom. Ready? One, two, three. Cheers. Mmm. That is very rich, very heavy. It's very crispy. It's fried. Right? Crispy, fried kind of bread. Would you even call it a cracker, maybe? Cracker. Would you call me a cracker? Thank you so much. I'm gonna get another big bite. Here we go. Oh, mm. The cracker is soaking up all that chole. Super savory. It's kind of like making the cracker half crispy, half soggy on the inside. The onion in there, very oniony. Is this like kind of a Indian fast food? Basically, it's breakfast for everyone. It's so affordable. This plate comes with only 10 rupees. Whoa. An unexpected breakfast. It's very energy packed. Our next location offers a dish akin to taking a bite of history with a recipe that predates the Hindustan era. We have reached our third destination right behind us. And guys, I hope you're not sick of chole because we're having some more chole. What's so special about this place? Oh, we are going to have a bhigawa kulcha. It's called drenched kulcha. Oh. Kulcha wet and chane. The recipe is before the partition of India and Pakistan. So this is very unique. Pakistan and India were one country called Hindustan. Is that right? Yes. When did that division happen? Do you know? 1947. Yeah. Should we go try some? Yeah. We're in line here, and I'm not a host. I'm just a regular guy in line for food. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Okay, I don't know how this works. He's wearing completely all white. Like me. Just like you. That confidence <laughs> here. The control and precision to be able to work all day with these kind of brown sauces and just be flawless like an angel. It's amazing. Do they have just one thing on the menu here? No, they have like matthi chane also. Mm. Which one are we getting? We are getting biga one. Oh, this one. Okay, so he puts the bread inside this huge bowl of chickpeas, puts the bread back onto a plate, more chole on top, then onion, a chili, a pickle, and what is that sauce? Chutney. Chutney. Oh, that is heavy. Oh, it's really soaked up that sauce. Let's go eat it. Here it is. Biga hua kulcha. Drenched kulcha. Oh, I like that. And it is wet. It is heavy. This thing is massive, as in it has a lot of mass. Do you like eating with your hands or not? That's a good spoon, no? You prefer a spoon. Me too. I got a tiny bite right here, and I like to just get a little bit of a taste. <laughs> <laughs> My audience loves a guy who takes big bites. I like food. Ready? Ow. Mmm. It's a nice bread. The last place was very crispy. This is kind of doughy. Mmm. And it has no ghee in it. Can I request ghee? Yeah, okay. The masala, it tastes a bit similar to the last one, but... The kulcha is different. Right. We're not shooting the same thing twice in a row. We're shooting it four times in a row, not twice. I want to see how big of a bite you can take. We all know that you are amazing at taking really small bites. Is that... My audience is feeling heartbroken and disappointed. They really appreciate a big bite. That's pretty big. Can you do it and save your lipstick too? Okay, go for it. Boom. <laughs> Indian cooking styles are just as versatile as the food itself. From street side stalls to mobile bicycle restaurants. And this man is delivering a tour de France of flavor. We're at our final chole destination. What dishes is he serving here? He's serving bun chane. It's an Indian burger. Bun is like a hamburger bun? Yeah, bun and we put chanes inside. Oh. Bun chole. That's easy to remember. How do you order it? Do bun chane the do bhaiya. Bun chane. Here's the bun, here's the chane or chole. Put it together and you've got 
these are the buns. So he puts on some butter. Ghee, it's ghee. Guys, calm down, it's, it's ghee. So inside here, I see bean and I see potato. These are boiled chane. Yeah. He put in some potatoes, onions, salt, chaat masala. And this is the chutney. What kind of chutney? Himli, yeah. Mint. Is he going to kind of mash that up? He's going to mix it. Oh. Turn the buns. And then he's got this nice little machine here for squeezing in some fresh citrus. Now he's stuffing the hamburger bun with the chole. Thank you, sir. So we have our Indian burger here. I'm gonna show you, Kai, right here. I mean, would you take a look at the beauty that is all that stuffing in here, crispy on the outside, toasted in that ghee. I'm so pumped. We're gonna try it out. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go for it. Mmm, a lot of flavor. That is super salty. Maybe a little too salty for me, but I really like the big chunks of onion in there, and it's a little crunchy. Potato. And the potato, too. What kind of people are eating here? Normally, the college girls. Just anybody who wants a cheap treat, 14 cents only. And I do like the bread. It's very nice on there. It's very convenient. You could drive to school while eating this. Who's going to shoot then? That's a good point. Right. With how satiating, filling, and just plain satisfying all this food is, it's hard for a meat lover like me to believe all we ate today was pure vegetarian. If you have a chance, don't miss the tandoori kulcha with about half a stick of butter. Taste-wise, it's like looking into the eyes of God. Wow, what a treat getting to tour all this chole with you. Do you want to do a shirt check? Ta-da! Stain free. That's pretty good. You made it through four locations of this soupy brown food and ended up clean on the other side. If you want to check out more about Diksha, she is on Instagram right here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace.